Yeah, welcome uh, members and subscribers. If you're not subscribed, make sure you uh, subscribe. It's free. Back at the yard. Let's see how much is in my bin here. Got all the microwaves in there. I'm gonna put something big there, but uh, let me see. Let's see how much room I have here. Hmm, a little bit of a spot there. Got some lawnmower bases still. It uh, snowed about, I don't know, three inches last night and turned to rain. Look at so, all oh, pure water here. Wow, it's a lot of water here. It's crazy. I don't really like that. Wow, it didn't, didn't even absorb. Hmm. Gotta pass on lawnmower bases. Way too much water here. Wow. Never seen that much water like that. Okay, well, feet are almost wet already, just like that. Okay, I'm not gonna put any in for now, but what I wanna do is I wanna strip some stuff out. But up here it actually snowed more than down lower. I live lower. Your water. This cabin here, I may save it for now. I haven't decided. So I, I gave some food for the cat. He took the food already, but he's um not around. Let me strip some of these things here. Let's strip this commercial stuff here. See, I got buckets of stuff here that I can strip. It's a matter of getting a little bit of time for it, right? It's actually filming here, but I want to water here. That's weird. Hmm. This junk there, anyways. I don't know if that's uh, could be coyotes coming in here. Don't know, so I'll put this over here. Okay, unless there was something that would that froze Get the cat urine or something. Who knows? Okay, they got some uh, e waste here. The kind of commercial, not sure exactly. Telecom, maybe I don't know. Big back, black, back plane board. Deal with that after. This is what we're going for right there. Cast aluminum. Here's the sticker board. I don't remember how I stripped these before. I think there was a coyote here pissed on my box there because I'm thinking because uh, I think it was a cat. The 
coyotes come around here. I'm not really sure how to strip this. All right, there must be something here. Something in the face, I think. This is plastic. Something right here. That's weird, I don't know. There's got to be something under here I can't see. It's right here. Something there. Huh. The hell? How did I strip this last time? Got like kind of a clip here, like right here. Bunch of connections here. See what kind of contacts here because it could be uh, copper on these joints here. I just can't believe how much water's in there. I thought it would dissipate by now. No, it's just pure water. Beautiful day today, I'll tell you. Fresh air. Nice stuff actually, huh? Oh, I see screws right here. Got the screws right there. There it is, stupid thing. I knew it was. I stripped these before, but I just couldn't remember because I hadn't, didn't have very many of these. So a screwdriver.
really good for for aluminum for sure. Cast. sure if I pulled these out last time. I think I did. I think they'll just slide straight up. It's so complicated. This is on here and I'm going to smash with the hammer a little bit, see what it does. I think I left these on last time. So oh, lots of transistors here, these are all transistors. This has got to be a little bit older, this, this stuff. You think it should just come right out, so don't do it. I can get all these out. Be quite a bit of copper. These are all copper sections. All these pins. Copper brass, either one. I grab glasses on. Hmm. That's exactly what it is. Number two copper. So if you get all these together, you have probably a lot of weight. It's pretty heavy stuff. I think would come off a little bit easier than that. That's why I didn't do that many of these because it's a bit of a pain. Okay, well, I think it's too much of a workout to take those off for now, but I still want to get the rest of the, uh, or oh, these are all lights actually, okay, lights, light bulbs. Okay, I'm going to strip the rest of these for now, okay. I got a different one here, a different kind, 
So it has actual um, heat sink here. I took out uh, four screws already. This heat sinks like this. It's on the MOSFETs. No MOSFETs all along here. Extruded. And I have a little different version here too. Good board there. Put a little stuff on it. Palm or something. I see gold inside. That's actually a nice one there. That's a nice one too. This one here, get your axe. So that, no effort, right? That's all cast right there. Here's another one here. Boom, boom. Probably not the best way of doing that. A stupid thing, I think one battery's already shot on that uh, Milwaukee. It didn't last that long. There's a tight screw, that one. Two, two pieces extruded. This one I kind of screwed up here, but...
Okay. Where's stainless would think this one is? Okay, well, we're just gonna keep going. Trying to charge that battery up, hopefully it will charge. Okay. Okay, back clean board, it's called screws out. A lot of screws, incredible amount. Seven twenty or more, maybe more thirty. Okay, well, that's the board. Comes with spiders. Hmm, pretty big board. Really not much there. A little bit of gold on there, but I don't think it looks that great. Big hunk of plastic. Modicon 800 series. Probably just the name of this plastic. The way that it's molded for the boards. Okay, we're just gonna see what we got here. I think there was 12 slots in there. Just curious myself. How much uh, alloy, alloy materials? Nine point six pounds. So not bad. And then we got some uh, sheet. Uh, just under a pound. Extruded. About a pound. Yeah, one pound even extruded goes there. And then we're gonna have the old sheet. This little thing here will go there. And then boards. Maybe like 10 pounds of boards, I would think. Well, just in these boards alone, probably 10 pounds. So nine and a half plus this awkward board. Twelve point seven pounds. So this is really good here, these two, but the other ones are and look at the other ones, these are more like the high grade ones. The other ones are I mean I'm not sure what it would be rated at, but uh I don't think it's super hot, these boards. A couple IC chips here. A couple of partial gold fingers. Just gonna stockpile these for now, I guess. That's what I'm do.
there's another heat sink here. So I've got three screws, sectional screws here. That's kind of got uh, like a nut driver, but very tiny. I'm going to have to bring my precision tools here because there's so many fine things that uh, make it my life so much easier if I had those little nut drivers. A very tiny one. Anyways, I'm just going to pop this off here. It might work. Yeah, it works. Oh, this one's totally different. It's actually, hmm, each one has its own. Oh, nut. This one I have to leave on there for now. Okay. I'm going to chips off here. This one here, it's like kind of like surface melted, hard to get off. Get this out. This one I'll throw in the, the better one. Take the screen off. It's green board, but it's got an IC chip there. This one just throw in the shred. Yeah, it works good for like, you know, little, little things. Especially those ones with the big legs are hard to, the steel legs or, I don't know if they're steel or copper, but they're hard to get off. So this is the uh, thing here, but I just didn't have a tool, it's too bad. Okay, I might do one more after and then do something else. Okay, okay we've got one here. Let's start trying to strip these. 
Can be brass, maybe. Let's just do a little bit of everything. Brass, all brass. So, that'll be a bonus. So this stuff I'll just take it put in the garbage. Or if I do a load of garbage, I don't really worry about the screws, but we just okay, so so we got all brass there. We can add up really fast. here so I'm not sure what's gonna be could be some kind of brass who knows like the half of the board is it's crap that half here Never saw that before. There. Now we're doing a smaller amount instead of stripping the whole thing.
one's a white metal. These two, these three actually. We got cast cast aluminum. Yeah, this is all cast here. And then these three are cast. The rest is all brass. That's what it is. That's the problem. They use so many mixed materials on this type of stuff. In the scrapyard, save the scrapyard, the headache, right? They know what they're getting. And they got top value for what I'm taking it to their. Been sitting for a long time this one. Got about a, probably a year ago, I think. No, well, maybe not. Oh, come on. Probably not exactly a year, but it's been sitting for a long time. Some of it could be a little bit of red brass too. See? Pop metal, light as hell, you can tell. You can just tell by picking up. Yeah. Difference. This brass is so much heavier. The brass is machined. You can see it's turned on the lay. Just to double check these two. Pot metal. So we're going to have to start a new pot metal category. I don't have one there. Yeah, I do have one actually starting. Brass is twice as heavy. Bounce. Okay, I'm gonna continue with these here. Just a few more. This one here give me a problem. So I cut a notch in there. The notch will be able to take it off. Hopefully, no, it didn't work this time. It's actually a two piece. It's all brass, actually. Brass. That one's light, this one's heavy. No, nope. hot metal. It's white metal inside. Okay, I'll take the rest of these off here.
these will all be just pot metal anyways actually that one this one's brass here I think let's get another look here no okay Yeah, yeah, the brass. I was a little worried there for a second. Uh, nice, heavy. Good weight on these. Okay, grass. This is brass cop copper mix, which might be able to separate the copper bar and try. Got some pins here. I'm thinking they're pins there. Maybe I'll just. There, nice. Just made myself a little extra. There, that's brass. Now it looks like pure copper, and it's very heavy. It'll be like number one, I would think. Wow! Oh, heavy, very heavy. There's some, some big ones here. These could be stainless. Some of them are. We'll see. Stainless. I don't think it's brass. So everything's stainless except uh, a two or three. I can tell the yellow ones stick out like these the dark ones here. That's uh, brass, 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 and brass. The rest is stainless. Okay, I'm gonna take. 
take this one apart now. Okay, stand by. I did about uh, I don't know, four boards. You saw what I did, except one was half, half steel. Eleven point eight pounds of just brass. Easily eleven pounds brass, or close to eleven pounds of brass, just like that. And we have a stainless here. I don't mind stainless when it's really heavy. Seven point two pounds. So those boards, there's a lot of uh, value on those boards. I'll tell you, a lot of value. And you would never expect it, but my buddy who gave it to me he said he was going to throw it in a shred otherwise. I guess he was just too busy and uh, couldn't clean them. So. But he's the guy who told me about the dumpster. The dumpster had all that stuff in there. Um, I'm not sure if there's more in the bottom of the bin, but uh, they had lots. We grabbed tons of the stuff. So that's actually pretty good. We'll grab a couple more to clean and move on to something a little different okay okay it took three more boards funny thing is here if you look here it's all paw metal but their name plate is brass i'll tell you about the company huh this one is all pot metal too again all pot metal and this one's all brass so i've looped out another one all brass m -Tech. This is medium bronze. I guess that's color. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna strip the rest of these and then we'll move on to something else, okay? Okay, I scraped another one here. These three are stainless, the rest is some cast aluminum. I don't know if it's cast or it's gonna be paw metal. I don't, I don't know. How are they gonna to wanna to rate it? But these are the same, all cast. So what I'm gonna do it's just um, it's the hang it's had a hanger plate. I'll strip the rest of these. I was gonna go to something else, but I figured, you know, I'm in a rhythm right now. I might as well get it done, right? Or get it off. a couple more done. It's got a. these kind of screws here because they're like a uh, lock washer nut so like a nylon mixed in there and it just doesn't want to come out by hand probably steel but I'm gonna keep this in case I want to hang something makes a good hanger actually put a little channel iron there and then this will hang onto something Okay, I'm going to take care of all these here for now. Uh, what's your opinion, guys? You want to call this pot metal or cast? I threw a couple in cast, like some like these, some of these knobs maybe because they're really heavy. I'm thinking maybe it's cast, but I don't personally know. What's your opinion, guys? This one's Australia, it says. Well, it shows Australia. Sydney Harbor. It's Australian top knobs. Okay.